you're watching The Ugly Inside, subscribe below. Welcome back to our end of season review. It's another player that's a debut season in the Saints, joined by the lads from Red Stripes and Dan from Fan Cans. Uh, the Moroccan magician Sofian Bufal, record breaking transfer this season. Sometimes not lived up to expectations, but Sofian Bufal, only two moments of magic with those wonderful goals against the Northeast clubs. Yeah, he's either ineffective or he's absolutely magic, like you say, isn't it? Again, I've got a touch of the Gaston Ramirez. Is Ooh, no, 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 you can't go that far. I am. Um, I'm feeling it really deep in my gut that it's all going <laughs> to happen again Ooh. and again. And I, I can't put myself through it. I really want this relationship to work. <laughs> but he's winding me up. <laughs> to be fair to him, he's still a young lad. But they, they said it about they said it about Mares. He didn't do very well in his, in his first season. Algerian, you know, winger gone on to become Player of the Year last season. But we've seen it already story. with our own team. Mane struggled in his first season. Obviously, he did he did a half decent, scored a few goals. Bafal scored a few goals. We need to remember that Bafal signed injured. Mm-hmm. Didn't, I don't know, when did he break into the team? Wasn't it? It was at least October, wasn't it? So, yeah, yeah, you know, he didn't have a pre-season. He's come in injured. And um, you need to consider that when you're thinking about him. I think, personally, the guy's got tons of ability. As we said, Ramirez, another player, had tons of ability. We just need to see him apply it now. We've seen some unbelievable skill. But it's then, once you've skilled that one guy, don't do another one. Mm. Give it to someone. But um, the best season, I, uh, sorry, the best performance I've seen from him this season uh, was Swansea away. He told their defence apart, but we just couldn't get the goals that we needed. And he's, he's got lots of tricks in his pockets, but sometimes running himself into dark alleys and too many players. Yeah, you know, I saw I saw him when he first come on um, away at Inter Milan, and he was like a, a headless chicken. He was doing a lot of tricks. He was losing the ball, you know. And then the next time I saw him, he, 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 he obviously learned from that mistake, you know. But it's all just. Broken record. We are a broken record. It's time on the pitch, you know, this rotation thing, you know, he, he needs to have a good long stint in the team. And I, think there's a real, I think he needs the pre-season as well. The real lack of discipline in there, I think, doesn't doesn't really complement the team yet. Of oh, doing yeah. his own thing. Defensively wise, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Obviously if if he pulls off these tricks, which we've seen him pull off, mm-hmm. everyone's singing his praises. Mm-hmm. He's pulled that touchdown for the one of the goals, he's done the long the great shot. Swansea is doing flicks and tricks and leaving players on their asses. You want the players to do that, but then also do that defensive work on top of that, so the discipline, that will come. And much like much like Tadic Bufal doesn't put in his defending his duties and you know they say he can play in his best position as the number 10 but behind the striker but he's been playing out wide and you know he doesn't offer as much what Redmond perhaps or Long on the, on the wing as well. Yeah I think obviously comparing to Redmond, comparing to Long, they're more experienced with the league, they know you know they're they're that little tiny bit tough on to come in from the French league, it's not a very physical league. A um, lot of walking through. Just toughen up. We said it about Cedric. Cedric's toughened up, bulked up. That's what we, that's Bufal's next step. To have a good pre-season, to bulk up, know when to do the tricks, know when to pass, and sort out that uh, defensive uh, responsibility. One to watch and that brilliant goal is probably the only thing we can take away from this season, the goal of the season against Sunderland in the cup. Yeah, and a few obviously the, a few of the tricks and the promise that we've got a, a player with some flair, you know, which is something which we've really complained want. about boring football this season, and they're slating one of our most flair type players. Is a... All right, summary out of ten, then, boys. I'm going to give him a seven. I am. <laughs> I am. What are you going to give him? Seven. Oh, you're a liar. <laughs> you're a liar. After what you said earlier. You give me that seven. Drop it. Drop it. Give me the six. No, all right then. Do the seven. Dead air. Dead air. Yeah, I'll give him a seven. Well. Yeah, I think I think you can't offer him anything lower or anything higher than a seven. Moments of brilliance, but let down by some of the areas of his game that needs to be improved. But leave us your thoughts in below. Sophie and Mithel's debut season at Southampton. Leave us your thoughts. Leave us your likes and subscribe for more. <laughs>